Matchbox Mondays. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe making an intro for Matchbox Mondays. I don't know. I mean, I, I do this so unoften. Yes, that is a new word. Unoften. My word it means not as much. <laughs> I don't because Walmart doesn't have the Matchbox cars as much as they do, as much as they should, right? So I can't buy a new one every week. So there we go. Got to do it when I can. All right. So what do you think? Maybe I should do a Matchbox Mondays intro? Maybe not. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, let's see here. So today we've got... The Koenig's, yeah, Koenigsegg Gemera. It's very hard to pronounce. It looks weird. K-O-E-N-I-G-S-E-G-G. -G -G, right? You see that in the title there. It's, yeah, it looks totally different than it sounds. Um, but yeah, Koenigsegg yeah, Koenigsegg Jamera, right? So it's a hard G or a soft G. Yeah, it's a soft G. Um, Jamera, like a gem. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so yeah, there we go. <coughs> and the video that I found about it is from... Supercar Blondie. I don't know. I don't know if I've used her videos before or not, but yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good at these. Um, I like that. She does like the supercars, right? So I figure, why not? Um, the only problem I have, you know, I'll, I'll just get this started. Just play this. Play it in the thing. There we go. That's that's her right there. Anyway, yeah, so that's the actual car right there and everything. The only thing that I have a problem with, and you probably can't see this. Uh. Hello? Uh, it doesn't want to focus here. Hello, focus. Anyway. Right there on the screen, on, on, the, on the windshield, it's scratched. It's scratched. I'm not happy with that. It's, it's scratched on there. But yeah, I like the way that the doors open. They open up. Yeah, kind of like a Lamborghini. Yeah. <coughs> See, it's like straight up, though. I like that. I really like that. And it's like, yeah, the horsepower on this thing is amazing. See, watch that. It's it just goes straight up like that. Welcome to the Supercar Blondie channel, you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, go click that button right now. Make Oh, a little plug for her channel. Anyway, yeah, she's not that bad. I'm going to put that video in, in the description box so that you can watch it if you want. Subscribe to her channel, like she said. She she does a lot of these. Um, she's got a video on her channel of the new DeLorean that just came out. And hopefully Matchbox will make one of the new style DeLorean. I, I'd love to get that. I'd love to get my hands on that. Um, the douchebag. That's what she called it. 
I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but it's a luggage bag. And see, you could fit you could fit three of them in the back and one of them in the front, right? And it's a four-seater car, so e each person can have their own luggage bag <coughs> in the car, and you can take this on a business trip. Why not, right? That is so cool. I like that. I like the idea of that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I have anything else to say about this car. It's really cool. It's got a three-cylinder engine. It's got, uh, it's got electric engines as well. Uh, the exhaust tips are, are like right there. Yeah. And right there in the back is where the exhaust tips are, right? So, yeah, see, she's... Then you've got another electric motor just here. You can't see it. It's around this position here. And so you've got electric motors, you've got turbos, uh, and you've got a three-cylinder engine that actually sounds incredible. Look at this. Introducing. Oh, no, 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 Okay, anyway, before I get caught with the copyright, it's a Jamera. I like her I like her hoodie. It's a Gucci hoodie, but it, it's pretty neat. It's all glittery and everything. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um the thing is this car is amazing like one like sure i got the car it looks cool like the the toy the the little hot the, bleh, it's not a hot wheels it's the same company that makes them but it's matchbox anyway i did see a a video on youtube comparing the matchbox one with the hot wheels one but anyway the car itself looks cool and watching the video it's like even better i mean look at all the space like she's a tall girl and she has to go all the way down like that just to touch the end right so she was saying you can put another luggage thing in the front and not even feel it <coughs> it won't be in your way because there's so much space <coughs> she was Actually, reviewing another car that had a bunch of space in it, too. Um, and then in the back, as well as the front, you got four cup holders there, right? Two for each side. There's a hot and a cold. Yeah. They got screens. They got built-in Wi-Fi in the car crazy like the car actually comes with a sim card where you can hook it up to wi-fi so you always got internet right there um yeah but the cup holders right you got a hot and a cold cup holder so you can have coffee in one and pop in the other there you go you know what more do you need from a car like seriously, right? You got a you got a touch screen there. You can sit there and you can watch your favorite shows while you're driving, or while you're riding in the back. I would never, never suggest watching something while you're driving. That that's crazy. And then instead of a rear view mirror, you got a camera. Right? There's a camera that. Yeah, but if it's not, le she's saying something, if it's not legal in your country, 
you can actually get something that fits over top of it that has an actual mirror, right? So you can avoid that. Um, but yeah, and then it's got the, the, the little screens where the actual mirrors would be, right? So when you're inside the car, there's one right there. You can actually see it right and it's where you would normally look at the rear view mirror so you don't have to retrain your brain to look somewhere else while you're driving it and you probably wouldn't even be able to afford the car anyway because the car itself is over two million dollars yes two million dollars that's like crazy right so yeah of course it should come with all of this stuff because for two million dollars that's your whole life savings and you have to live in the car so there you go you got your wi-fi you got your you know you got your hot and cold beverage places you can drive wherever you want and live in your car Especially after dropping two million dollars on it. You wouldn't want to leave it, right? Because it costs so much. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it alone. Yeah. Set up a work from home business in your car. There you go, you're free. You're you're set for life. Right? Just have to get out to use the washroom, that's it. Yeah, public restroom, run into a Walmart. Ha <laughs> I don't know, man. Spent two million dollars on my car and that's where I have to live. That's cool. How it goes with the steering, right? So it stays upright so you can read it better. But yeah, anyway, it's a good channel. It's a good video. Um, I suggest you watch it, you know, for all of the actual details and everything of the car. Uh, it's uh, 17 minutes and 41 seconds. And yes, that is a hovering camera. It hovers. <laughs> and that's another disappointment of the car that I got, it doesn't have that in the dash. It should, right? Just a little ball. That's all they needed to do is put a little ball of plastic right in the front and everybody would be happy. But no, it doesn't have that. And it's got scratches on the windshield. Not happy with that at all. But yeah, it shows the engine, it shows everything, the little exhaust tips in the back. You know, it's got it's got all the details and everything in here. I like that. Really like that about it. And that's the owner of the company that made the car right there. Right? And he's explaining why he made it and what his motivation was to put four seats in a supercar so yeah it's a good it's a good video you know we've already gone through almost most of it so anyway uh yeah like i said i've run out of things to say so i'm gonna go um and i'll be back tomorrow with another video yeah, so good to do these car videos again. So hopefully on Saturday they'll have another Matchbox car at Walmart. So I can do another one of these next week.